New at 6 o'clock tonight, a decision is looming about whether to continue a program to save the red wolf from extinction. For the first time in history, an endangered predator has been reintroduced back into the wild, and it's happening right here in North Carolina. I recently went to the coast to see how it's being done. Listen. That's a sound you're hearing more of in eastern North Carolina as red wolves are being reintroduced to the wild. The predator was heavily hunted from the time of the early settlers and nearly wiped out. In 1967, the red wolf was placed on the endangered species list, and the decision was made to round up the remaining red wolves and begin a breeding program. Fourteen wolves made up the founder population that would try to save the species. And field supervisor Pete Benjamin says it worked. It's difficult from uh, a release of uh, a few wolves uh, to where now there's, you know, roughly in the neighborhood of 100 wolves on the landscape, and they are successfully uh, behaving as wolves behave. Uh, uh, reproducing, rearing young successfully, uh, defending territories, forming packs. You know, in, in that sense, uh, we've demonstrated that this can be successful. That you can uh, take uh, an animal that was uh, extinct in the wild and uh, uh, restore it. The recovery area consists of 1.7 million acres spread across five counties on the Albemarle Peninsula. The red wolves are fitted with tracking collars so wildlife officers can follow their movements, locate their dens, and count the pups in their litters to make sure they're reproducing. The two biggest dangers to the red wolf both come from humans. One is traffic, that's why they've put up these signs. The other, hunters. They're often mistaken for coyotes, and the two animals look a lot alike, especially at night when they're both more active. We lose uh, wolves uh, every year to gunshot. Um, there is a uh, uh, similarity of appearance. The long range plan is to get the numbers up to 220 red wolves, and the ultimate goal is to get them off the endangered species list. That's really the ultimate goal with all our, our efforts is to get these species back to a point where they are functioning parts of the ecosystem and uh, uh, are no longer in need of the, the protections of the Endangered Species Act. Of course, any predator is potentially controversial, so the program has to work through issues with landowners who own livestock to make sure that everything exists in harmony. But they also prey on rodents and nuisance animals to keep those populations in balance. That decision as to whether to end this breeding program after 27 years could come any day now. Mm -hmm.